All right, Aries, man, this one was really interesting. I think that you're being protected from something that you're not able to clearly see right now. So the ringmaster of scrutiny, and this did show up as a challenge for you, but then you had guardian angel and I was like, wow, man, you are going to be protected from something that you may not see right now. When you look at the ringmaster, as far as the challenge goes, it talks about how you need to observe your situation with discernment and clarity. It's actually a warning. It's saying that you may not see the flaws in the foundations that you are building or that others are building underneath you. There may be somebody who is wanting to be involved with you where their true intentions are not being made clear. Now, for some of you, it's just you're building a foundation on something that is not true to you. But either way, Guardian Angel is saying that you need to connect with that. But I think that this is like automatic protection coming in, especially for those of you who have loved ones on the other side. They may be protecting you from something here. All right, Aries, here we go. Here is your overall, the Hermit. Okay, so... The immediate feeling that I'm getting from this is whatever it is that you're dealing with right now, it's not so much about needing to look at where you have been. It's more so, I think, needing to separate yourself from the issue to see things a little bit more clearly when it comes to what you've been hoping for, what you are trying to achieve. So this is the deep soul searching, right? So it's not that you need to go into isolation, but I think that you need a moment alone to get clarity on whatever it is that you're dealing with. But this is a big thing, big, big thing. Okay, in the past, the Queen of Swords. Now, this could have to do with a person that you are dealing with. Again, male or female, could be Earth. But I'm looking at what you are internalizing, possibly because of dealing with another person coming in with the Queen of Swords from the past. This is being very cold and shut off. We're not playing games anymore. I'm wanting to get straight to the point. But I also look at this Queen of Swords like she's still willing to deal with another person. But I just don't like the fact that she's still doing this from a place of, you know, getting ready to protect herself. Like, I will stab you if I have to. You know, and whether you're male or female, I think that somebody may have put you in this position of being very like guarded and emotionally detached. You may be very like, how do I put this? <sighs> when it comes to the other person, I, I don't think that you fully trust. It's almost like you're watching their every move and just waiting for them to misstep, you know, and that's not really a good place to come from, but that's because of what has been done to you. Okay, in the present moment, you have the world. So that part of your life is going to be coming to a close in a successful way. I love the world because I'm always behind the camera going like this, right? The successful completion. And as you're getting closure on some issues, I think that that's where, you know, you just want to spend some time to yourself, you know, and really considering what your your hopes and your goals are you know it's the inner light of truth right but we'll see what's going on in your environment here future conditions the queen of pentacles i think that you get to a place where you are more secure with yourself and being able to handle things on your own i've always said when it comes to the queen of pentacles she doesn't need a counterpart she is very capable of taking care of situations on her own very realistic, very practical, very in tune with herself and her surroundings. And again, whether you're male or female, I do think that this is what you're internalizing. Some of you may be leaving behind someone that you feel like you can't connect with anymore. And that may be because, you know, you're going through this big completion in your life. Right. And it's it's funny because it almost has a death type of feeling like you're just not that person anymore. But it's not that something needs to, you know, come to that kind of ending where it's forced. 
This is more so, you know, you doing what's necessary to get closure on issues from the past, possibly having to deal with a person, but moving into a place where it's not about being dependent on another person. And it is about you kind of going your own way and doing things on your own. Your best path to follow the chariot. Let's go. Let's move, right? And this is big, a big thing that's happening in your life involving other people. The chariot, though, is about willpower and self-control. And if you want things to change, then it is about you needing to tap into that in order to gain momentum. For some of you, it may literally be that you need to move or to travel somewhere. But this is on your own. This is doing things on your own. Separating from your need to have somebody to depend on. But that's because that chapter in your life is over with. And it may be that you don't want to deal with somebody who is codependent on you, though, either. You know, for some of you, you may be done with these type of partnerships or relationships with people where you don't trust them. You know, and now you're looking to be in a situation where there's independence on both sides. But I'm looking at you not needing the validation of somebody else. But there is a need here for you to, you know, get control over where you're going and start picking up the pace here. In your environment, the Five of Pentacles, I gotcha. So the first thing that I got from this is if you were dealing with a person in the past, there is a lack of trust right off the bat. The reason why the situation is done and over with and coming to this kind of completion or close here is because you have been pushed out. And I think that it's not so much that it's, you know, being rejected. It's more so that you're tired of being in situations where you are not a part of what is going on with the other person. For some of you, yeah, you're, you're done dealing with people who are, are constantly casting you out, rejecting you. That's over with, with the world. Now, if you've dealt with the situation where somebody has taken from you, and we're talking about depletion here, it's, this is over. These kinds of changes are done and over with. You've completed that cycle of your life. You know, for others of you, if this is about career, this is, you know, getting to that completion point where you are going to be successful moving forward more so on your own than being a part of a business partnership or like possibly a certain company. And that may require movement with the chariot. But either way, career or relationship, in your environment, there's this feeling of being pushed out, not being in the know, not being a part of somebody's life, not knowing what's going on. But you're done with that. You're done with that. That, that chapter in your life is over with, which is great. Okay, your hopes and your fears, the high priestess. Immediately, what I want to say with this one, because of the chariot being your advice, is that for some of you, it's you fearing what you don't know. It's almost like you want to know all of the possibilities and the hidden information before you move forward. You may be fearing that something's going to come out that, you know, you weren't aware of. For others of you, it's, you know, hoping that your intuition is leading you in the right place. And if you trust in that, then there should be no problem with moving forward. This is a big thing, big thing. And it's about you. It's about you, how you handle other people, how you handle dealing with not being in a place of feeling like you have anything. All of that is, it's over with in your life. There will never be another cycle where you feel like you have nothing left. That's what I want to say with the world being there. But I think that, again, with the high priestess, it's, you know, wanting to know all of the details. I want all of the answers here. And I don't want any surprises, right? But I think that, you know, with the hermit here, that there will be a little bit more faith when it comes to what your intuition is telling you is right for you, though, too. Oh, and then coming out the devil. And this is why you're separating is because you don't want to be trapped anymore. You don't want to be a part of a situation that makes you feel tied down. Now, if this is about a relationship, this is about getting out of negative patterns in a relationship where there's rejection or this feeling of not being a part of somebody's life. 
but I really think that this is you finding independence with yourself, going your separate way, whether that's with, you know, separating from a person or a business. Either way, it's about getting out of negative habits and routines, negative relationships, negative conditions. It's, it's done. It's over with. So if things are going to happen quickly where you're going to get to drop a huge burden, a huge burden, but you're going to be going your own way here. And with the fool, you're ready. It, there is no hesitation here. And I don't think it's about needing to have faith with jumping into something. This is, you know, I need a new path in my life away from the devil. Now, with the Eight of Wands, looking at the Queen of Swords, it, things may have changed so much that trust has been lost in either, like I said, your career or another person that you're dealing with. And, you know, I look at this as you wanting to take action here. And, and needing to do something and you immediately go into the world where we're talking about the successful completion, no more feeling like you're being cast out, rejected or feeling depleted. And that's because you're carrying around something that is garbage and you're dropping that shit. I'm done with it. It's not going to weigh on me anymore. I'm letting it go. And whatever it is, clearly it's, it's negative and it's oppressive. So it's not about you waiting until something happens here to get rid of it. Like I really feel like, and, and this is because of the hermit being the overall, I really feel like you're in a place now where it's like, I am done with situations like this. I'm going to take a time out to find, you know, deeper meaning in what I am trying to achieve. And I'm going to let go of this negative oppressive thing. And then you move into the fool. And with the queen of pentacles, you're good. You're good. I like it, Aries. I think that unfortunately you've been dealing with a lot of negative people where you just don't trust them at all. But I think that you're ready for a new path. You're, you're done dealing with situations like that. All right. So magic, being able to see the magic in life, but the magic is opening up now because you see the truth of the intentions possibly of others around you, but you're also tapping into your own truth and what your own intentions are and being more aware of what you are creating, right? Setting better intentions. But there is this truth that is being understood and realized. And that's that I think in looking at magic in the fool is perfect because it opens you up to the beauty in life in such a way that it's easy for you to just jump, jump and make a change, right? The clean soul, the clean slate. And first light beginning a new cycle. Hey, a new cycle in passion and pleasure. And this is something that you need to enjoy while it's here, right? Because this isn't a guarantee that life is going to be better for the rest of your life. We're always going to have struggles. But this is going to be a time for you where new things are going to be starting, but you're going to be able to enjoy life in a way that I don't think that you have been able to before, you know, but really it starts with you getting out of an oppressive situation, especially if you've been involved with people who have like addictive personalities or have always been like codependent on you. Because I go back to that Queen of Pentacles and think, especially with the hermit, you're breaking free of that. You're going your own way. You're doing your own thing, you know, and it's not that you can't provide for another person, but why should you do that if they're not going to give you anything in return? Or if you feel like you're being rejected or cast out or not a part of what is going on with the other person, you know, and again, if it's business, this is you making a big move, big, big move and taking a huge leap of faith here but it's going to lead to a new cycle where there's all of this passion and pleasure to be able to enjoy. I love it, Aries. I think it's great. 